Okay guys, well these puppies are getting big so quickly. Uh, today they're 15 days old and that puts them right at the beginning of what scientists refer to as the transition period. That's 13 to 20 days. Now during this stage their eyes are open and their ears are open, but you know really to be honest their vision and their hearing is pretty dang limited. Uh, but what's the greatest part about this period is they start to like being stroked and petted, you know. And this is when it starts to get hard to keep your kids out of the puppy room. Because these little guys, they really start to be snuggle bugs right now. You can pick them up and stroke them and they'll wag their little tails and they'll start licking on you. You can put them on your lap and they'll fall asleep. I mean, they're really, you know, this is about... You know, my favorite stage, to be honest with you, because it's right before they start making a big old mess and uh, making noise all the time. So I really love them during this stage. What really makes this fun is that you're getting all the cuteness with none of the downsides of having a puppy, you know. They just kind of lay around, and you pet them and love on them, and they nozzle you and nozzle each other. And, you know, it's just super fun, you know. But guess what's coming up? They start to get mobile, guys, and this goes fast. Right now, at 15 days, this is what they look like when they're moving. They're just kind of crawling around, and you know, one of the things you want to look at is, uh, you know, how they, you know, how they, how they move. Like, see how much she pulls herself at their front end, you know. Now, okay, of course, at this stage, you're always going to try to get off your table, so you're going to see some hands jump into those frames every so often. I'm sorry about that, but back to what we're talking about. Look, watch how they go to move. See, they kind of lift themselves up a little bit, and they're unsteady, and then they'll get their center of gravity back low, then they'll go to pulling, and what you'll notice is they always tend to move towards structure, you know. So if their mother's there, they'll move towards their mother. If there's a mass of puppies there, they'll move towards the other puppies. But if you even just have a box or pillow, they'll move towards it almost every single time. Now, I wanted to give you guys a little bit better idea of how much they can move and, you know, how much power they have over their own body. So I got this little box out, and I'm going to use about two or three puppies here just to show you, you know, that they, they already are pretty dang mobile. And one of the things you'll really notice here is, like, the puppy is making an idea, you know, in his mind. He's, he's thinking, I want out of this box, and he's willing to act on that, you know. And this is when they start developing that little bit of a sense of autonomy, and that's really when they start to develop their personality, guys. That puppy has made the decision that he wants out of that box, and he has the ability to act upon that decision. That's a really cool thing to watch happen. It's, uh, it's really cool to watch their personalities develop. And believe me, already at this, at this stage, they have personalities. Some of those little puppies, you know, I put them in a box, and it takes them about, uh, you know, I don't know, five or six seconds just to decide, hey, wait a minute, I don't want to be in a Pringles box. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go find something else to do. I'm going to go find my mom, you know. Uh, and some of them, you know, they'll go to acting on it, and there'll be a little impediment. Like, watch this little puppy here. She's about to get out of this uh, box, you know, but she's kind of stuck. Well, some of them right there will give up and just start whining and complaining. And some of them, the generally kind of speaking, the stronger ones, even when they run into an impediment. See my son, George, he's about to help that puppy, and I stopped him because I wanted to see how she was going to react to a little bit of an impediment. And watch what she does. She never gives up, okay? And so that really tells me something about that little dog's personality. She wanted something, and she was going to get it one way or the other. Now, look at this little girl. She's sitting there, and she's not sure what she wants yet. Okay, so she looks to the front, and then she looks to the side, and she's a little bit more cautious in her approach. But once she makes up her mind, and look at her, she's noticing George's big blob of movement back there. Once she makes up her mind what she's going to do, then she's going to set herself to action, and she's not going to accept anything other than getting out of that box. But her approach to getting out of the box, it was just a little bit different than that other puppy. You know, her personality, it's just going to be a little bit different, and that is amazing to me. It just, it, it never ceases to, 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 to enthrall me, really, to be honest. And uh, this guy here, look, uh, he just is going to bear right out of there. He's like, I'm not fooling around, you know. Let me out. I'm going to go over here and do what I want to do. And uh, he goes directly out of the box. So, you know, different puppies, different personalities. Hope you guys liked it.